All right, we're getting a Lewis Laskin versus James Bishop. James Bishop. And Lewis Laskin, we watched him earlier. He is playing a mono blue Grand Architect deck, and he's going to be facing off against James Bishop, who's playing Wolf Run. Yeah. Wolf Run with two Bonfire of the Damned in the main deck. Cool. And your most hated sideboard card. He's Cavern of Souls in the sideboard again. No, 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 no. no. Surgical Extraction in the sideboard yeah. also. We, we, we have Surgical another... Surgical Extraction is fine in the sideboard in Wolf Run because against Freets, it just makes you significantly better than them post-board if you yeah. draw one. That's fair. Which is fine. Um... But I don't think you really want to side in it anywhere else. Yeah. Unless there's like some like weird deck that nobody really knows about. Um, oh, we get to, get we get to pull up the, the notepad file of uh, Glimmer Post to be Tavern. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. I'm down 1 0. I'm okay with it. That happens. Yeah, so uh, earlier I said that I do not like the inclusion of Glimmer Post in these decks. And. Drew does like the inclusion of Glimmer Post. Yeah. Now we've we've created a tally of every time having Glimmer Post wins somebody a game. Versus how many times it not being colored mana loses them the game. Yeah. Because there, there, there is a real trade-off. It only taps for colorless mana. There's a reason why Corbett Gray, when he debuted it, uh, played Copper Mirror instead of Rampant Growth. I mean, actually, no, he did play Rampant Growth as well. He didn't play. He played. He didn't play something else. But he played Copper Mirror because it was an easier cast than some green card. All right, so uh, we're off. James Bishop uh, on the play with Wolfron Ramp uh, has a Rootbag Crag followed by a Copper Lion Gorge. Does he have uh, an Acceleration spell? He does. He does. It's a Rampant Growth, so going to grab himself a Forest or a Mountain. Yeah. And then uh, Lou is going to continue playing. Yeah. This seems Lou, like uh, no turn to play trying to keep things moving fast because there is only 8 minutes and 55 seconds left in this round. Yeah. Does not want to time out, so we're going to let his opponent take his turn really fast. And Lou holding and... on to uh, Worm Pile Engine, so if he has Grand Architect, then we are looking at the turn 3, turn 4. Yep. I thought I saw wow, a Ponder in his hand, so he must have uh, Architect Worm Pile. Must have it all together already. I would think so. Right? Or is that the, the fourth card, the missile card? The middle card? Oh, yeah. He has one dissipate. And his opponent on four mana has Sphere of the Suns, threatening a Titan next turn. And uh, let's see, does Lou have some sort of answer to this? I feel like you have to mana leak this. Yeah, if you have it, you do. Right, because like you're gonna need to. You're gonna need to start playing threats and. Yeah. Otherwise, you the can thing just is that Luke can't play his mana. Grand Architect this turn because he's gonna need to leave open dissipate mana. So this so is that... like the perfect time for a slow rolled caverns, right? Like this is where sequencing yeah. your lands actually comes into play because you could just play cavern on turn three and name giant and like that can just be, but it lets your opponent scope their lines of play. And if your cavern is your sixth mana source, then you just catch them. Yeah. You catch them really hard. And this is the thing that James at this point might be thinking, okay, I'll just get to nine mana and play my Titan. But Lou has a Dissipate end. Yeah. So all that waiting for nothing. All right, Lou with a Merfolk Looter. That's actually like one of the better draws he can get here. Yeah. He definitely needs to start getting things going because at some point... He can get uh, Ink Moth Wolf Run. So he casts Beast Within on his Black Source. Okay. Yeah. And uh, Gyrodos coming out to party. Gyrodos going back into his Pokeball. Yeah. Beast Token coming out to play. Lewis half chosen him, but. The judge told him to choose a different one. All right, now uh, James uh, created this opportunity for himself to try to resolve a Primeval Titan, and uh, it resolved. I'm just gonna say, okay, no problem. <laughs> Lou uh, 
certainly not down for the count now, has uh, the ability to clone this Primeval Titan on his turn. And uh, gra grab some Ghost Quarters, yeah. take care of those Kessig Wolf runs. Really not that big of an issue at all for him. Ooh, gets Cavern of Souls naming Giant, I can only assume. Yeah. And can we get some confirmation? So, uh, Lou, the a million clone deck. Yeah, now that his opponent has that Cavern of Souls, the uh, dissipate in his hand becomes significantly worse. But uh, luckily for him, he has Merfolk Looter, so you can just cash it in for a new card. Yeah. Cavern, yeah, Cavern of Souls is naming Giant. Yep. As expected. So, I'm anticipating some sort of clone effect here because he's going to want to cast Worm Coil Engine next turn. The only question is how many clones he wants to cast. Yeah, and uh, I'm guessing two clones. I want my trigger, but I'm also going to cast this other clone. Can I just get four lands? Oh, okay, never mind. Two clones and a Grand Architect. Yep. So he's going to get the two lands, he's going to cast Grand Architect with his remaining three and tap Grand Architect and Merfolk Looter to cast Phyrexian Metamorph. Yeah, using his top end against his opponent. And uh, the thing is, he gets the search for double Ghost Quarter, so that's going to be able to take care of both of his opponent's Kessig Wolf runs that he right. has in his deck. Yeah. Very powerful abilities. Yeah. Coming from Lou Laskin over here. James is going to have to find another way to win. He's going to get a turn to wolf run the uh, Primeval Titan. But he might want to use that opening to uh, hit the Phantasmal Image instead. Yeah, I mean, he... Uh Normally, when you have the, the wolf run in play, you start using it to deal with the images. But the problem is that I mean, loose deck has a ton of redundancy. You just yeah. The, the real question is, do you want your primeval titan on board when Lou on taps? Yeah, and uh, here comes glimmer post again. See these glimmer posts? They, they keep not affecting the game at all. Hey, look, man, mono blue architect is not exactly an attack attack deck. It is much more of a but against the attack tacky decks, they're even worse, because then you can't cast your slag storms. Hey man, you just cast a slag storm. Alright. Did cast the slag storm. And what was that? Zenith for Corruptor to take care of that. That was a really good turn okay. for James. So it looks like he slag stormed with the permanence on top. The Glimmer Post Sphere Crag. Zenith for three with the lands in the middle for Corruptor to kill Metamorph, and Wolf run to the image on the other side with the lands on the bottom. Seems reasonable. So image dies, Metamorph dies to Corruptor, Slagstorm takes care of Beast and Looter and uh, Architects. Board clears, Primeval Titan searches up, two lands, probably another Wolf run and another Nexus. Although he might not even want Wolf Run because it's just going to get hit. Right, he might want to naturally draw it. Yeah, so just going to grab some cover post. Gain eight more life. <clears throat> Gaining a bunch of life. <clears throat> it may seem like Lou's really behind here, but surprisingly in this game, because of the Buried Ruins in play... Yeah, uh, Buried Ruin is going to... Uh, cash in and become Primeval Titans very easily. I think he still has to go quarter main. I think you're right. Yeah, cast Primeval. Uh, cast Wormclaw, rather. Yep. Ooh, I don't, I don't like saying go there. Oh, he didn't use the... Uh... Yeah, no. Because now he can... Yeah, now, uh, it's interesting that Lou chose to do it this way. 
the, the thing is, Wormcoil Engine doesn't have First Strike, so he can actually... I guess he's telegraphing Vapor Snag here, right? Yeah, that's, I think... That, that's what he's got to have. I think he just has to, like, dissipate in hand or something. Because he's... James is representing Lethal with uh, Breeding Corruptor plus Wolfron. Yeah. Also presenting Lethal with... Uh... Yeah, just exactly 10 infects. So... The, the problem is, if Wormcoil blocks Corruptor, then... Cranial Titan's lethal. Yeah. Uh, he, it's not exactly lethal, but it's definitely a lot Oh, no, with the Wormcoil life gain, it's not. Yeah. Okay. So he's 18, so it's not quite there. But he's going to have to block this Corruptor. Oh, I like this from low. So he he's waits until after the trigger... To make sure that he's not gonna have to face. Ah, oh, I get so it. So he gets to see where all of it goes. Yeah. Make it very smart. Accordingly. I like it. Okay, so. Uh, plus 8 plus 0 to. Corruptor. Vrain Corruptor. No vapor snag here. And, uh... So he's gonna trample over for... Four infect. Yeah. Lou is gonna get two three threes. Death touch and lifeline. He stays at 12. Gets a pair of three threes. Is that star you and star me? Uh, I think it's a Clefairy. No. Oh. Yeah, no, not close. And... <laughs> and it looks like he's getting Joey Pasco and Big Head Joe instead. Yeah, unable to battle with Pokemon, despite being a, a well versed Pokemon trainer. Yeah, I was thinking it would be sorry you star me after Gyarados sort of established the water theme. Yes, understandable. All right, now uh, Twitter coming Lou's in still with a uh, yeah. good amount of action here. Probably going to get in with his life token here. Yeah, saving Go death to, to uh, KO the Primeval Titan. Joey Pasco getting in the red zone there a little bit. Yeah, Twitter coming in to make sure that we know that it's Clefairy and Mewtwo. Oh, it's Mewtwo. Nice. Yeah. We have some adept. Pokemon Masters out in the Twitterverse as well. James just has most of the lands in his deck in play. Yep. And a bonfire in hand. You see that at the front? Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm not sure that... No, Lou still has this paint in hand, I think. Oh, right, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, this is really just showcasing the power of Worm Coil Engine. Yeah, I mean, James doesn't really have any good attacks besides Ink Moth Nexus for one, right? Nope. I mean, obviously, if he peels Wolf Run, then. This is kind of a crazy game. Yeah. I think he just knows that he needs to peel Wolf Run. All of it. So that's four, seven, <laughs> 11, 14. It, it would have been for seven. However, Bonfire of the Damned, not a giant, can be countered by Dissipate. Yes. Is countered by Dissipate. Uh, hey, hey, mm, he already played a land. He did already play a land. All right, I think, I think Luce, like got this game now. Yeah, yeah. Worm Coil Engine, very good against Titans. Yeah, I mean, well, normally the Primal Titan beats Worm Coil Engine because uh, it just infects them. Yeah. But, but uh, Lou's, Ghost Quarter. Yeah, Lou's ability to copy it and go get Ghost Quarters 
And it's actually like a really valuable yeah. thing, like the it's second ghost game. corner. Super, super relevant here. Yeah. Only four minutes left in the round now. Or no, four minutes past time. So these guys are in extra turns now. Do we know what extra turn they're on? Or if they have a time extension? They probably do have a time extension because we uh, we had to bring them over to the feature match area. And in, in some guys come. Death Touch token and a uh, Worm Trial Engine. Interesting that he sends death and not life. No, because uh, the Primal Titans have tapped. Yeah, sure, but... I mean, don't you just, like, not send either? Like... I think you send death. Uh, this is Metamorph, uh... Worm Coil? What? His metamorph, metamorph is a worm coil, right? I assume so. Okay. He didn't search for lands, so... Fair. I'm actually a little bit surprised that he didn't pump the one of the guys with the architect, but I guess he wants to leave Buried Ruin up. Ruin up. Yeah, he probably wants to get another dude back at end step. Lou going up to five, in fact. Lou just the dead to the one of killed Wolfron. This is turn zero. Turn zero, all right. So uh, I think they are going to have enough turns to finish this game. I agree. But it's going to be close. All right, and that Primeval Titan off the top is pretty good draw step for James. Lewis gets back. Metamorph at end step. Yep. And uh, Lou going to uh, find him my attack with both worm coils and the death token. Yeah. I agree. Something about life and death. Normal conversations. <laughs> he really, really wants his Pokemon. I appreciate that. You know, it's 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 him and them. Yeah. You know, they're, they're his best friends. Together. You know, <laughs> in a world that they must defend. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So probably charging in with uh, both these worm coils and the death token. So, I would like to note, James has gained 11 life over the course of this game with number posts. Yeah, it may cause him to draw. Yeah, successfully. And if he's if he's given the extra turn to draw the thing, then you get to add a point to your tally. Yeah, man. If he... I mean, he would be at 8 right now, right? So, like, he'd have to make different blocks here. Whereas, like, right now he can just take it. Oh, all right. Uh, it decides to send in with everybody. And uh, Primeval Titans are going to... Uh, they jump in front of Worm Coils. Lou can just make the Worm Coils into 7-7s. Seven yeah. The Grand Architect ability, real good like that. And the sick part about Death Touch is that it works sort of unintuitively. Uh, you can choose to only deal one point of damage mm -hmm. to each blocker before moving on to the next one. So even though two sixes are two six sixes yeah, are so blocking the seven seven, you still got five points of damage left over after they're both dead. Yeah, so uh, Lou here dealing four eight. Uh, 15, putting James down to 4. I'm going to pass the turn back over. So, James now at 4, Lou at some massive number of life. 
And James can win with a top deck to Wolf Run, I believe. Yeah, James has been playing for this Wolf Run all game. Nope. Doesn't find it. And Lou Laskin, able to win that match. 4 yeah. 0. 4 0 now. Mono Blue Grand Architect. The Squeaker. And that was an epic game. Yeah, that was, that was awesome. a really sweet game. We watched Primeval Titan come down on turn four for the Wolf 